Hi everyone, it's Melissa with Time Clock Support and today we're going to go over the scheduler. So I'm on our schedule page and I got here by clicking schedule on the left side and this is basically our monthly view. So we'll go over the page really quick. You can select by location. So let's say you just want to see one of your locations schedule. You can do that there um, or you can select all if you want to see everybody. You can also show all employees so that you can see everybody on the same page, everyone who's scheduled for one day, you can do that. Or you can go down the line and just see your employees one by one. So here we have an envelope and this is basically so you can email your employees their schedule. This is very useful if let's say you made a quick update to their schedule and you want them to know about it, you would just click this envelope and the system will automatically send them an email letting them know what their schedule looks like. Your employees can log in at any time and view their schedule so there's really no reason why they should not know when they have to work even if you do make changes. So they have access to their, to their schedule at any time. This little trash can is if you want to delete that employee's entire schedule for the month. So um, if you don't want to just delete one shift by clicking on this little X here and deleting that just one, um, you can delete this. You can you can click this trash can to delete all of the schedules. There is a payment graph here at the bottom, and you can scroll along the bottom to go through each day. And it'll let you know basically a forecast of what you can expect for payroll. Um, it lets you know based on the hours that you've scheduled your employees and the pay wage you entered into all of your employees' profile, um, the total hours that you've scheduled, and the total estimated payroll. So that's very helpful um, when you're trying to do any type of forecasting. If you need to delete some hours to stay within budget, you'll know that just by checking out this graph. So um, you can use these arrows to go from month to month. And you can, I'm going to click show all employees so we can see everybody's schedule. And you can also go to a weekly view and use the arrows to see what's going on in future weeks. And let's say your employee works the same schedule every week. You can actually click the copy of this schedule to another week and a little pop-up will show. It'll allow you to select your employees that you want to copy and select the weeks you want to copy the schedule to. And all you got to do is click copy schedule and it'll go ahead and copy all of the schedules you want copied. You also have a daily view. Um, you can use this little calendar right here if you want to go to like a specific day. And notice how, um, you know, we have Trina who's scheduled here. I want Melissa to have the same schedule as Trina for that day and I wanted to and I don't want to have to go and enter everything in. So you can actually select an employee here, scroll down and click update and the schedule will copy the same exact schedule, location, position, everything will, will copy to the other employee. You can also delete it here and you can also check these box so that it actually copies to the next day but you don't really need to use this too often because now on our monthly schedule you can actually drag and drop and copy the schedules oh. drag and drop there we go um, you can, and let's say I, oops, I scheduled Melissa for the wrong day. I want her to actually work on the 19th. I can drag and drop and click move. And there it goes. Now, if you want, if you want to enter a shift in for the first time, you would just click on the day, select the employee, enter the hours that you want them to work, the location and the job. Um, this custom hourly pay rate is basically if you want to pay that employee more or less for that day, um, this will override whatever pay wage you put in their profile. 
So if you don't want to pay them anything different, you would just keep it at zero. You can make any notes for your employees to see, and you would just click Save. And it would save right here. Anytime your employees request time off, it'll automatically go onto the scheduler so you can schedule your employees properly. So Ben is taking a vacation this week, so we gotta make sure we, we have coverage on everything you know within our company. Um, so that basically goes over the schedule page. It's pretty simple. Oh, and one last thing, you can actually print your schedules here by clicking this little guy and it'll give you a monthly calendar. You select a format and then export it. Um, and then you can also do a list type scheduling. Um, so it basically gives the date, the name, and what time they need to work, where they need to be, if you don't want to print out an actual calendar. So that's basically it. We hope you guys are loving the time clock. Please let us know if you have any questions. We're here to help. You can always click the chat button Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 Eastern Time, and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks again, and have a great